So BidSketch bid sketch is um, a tool that uh, we use to write proposals. So I, used to, I had this conversation uh, about 18 months ago with a buddy of mine. We were supposed to have a Skype chat and he said, oh look, I, have to, I can't chat this afternoon. I'm writing a proposal for a client. I'm like, yeah, okay, dude, well, we'll just push it back an hour. And he's like, no, 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 it's gonna take me, you know, four hours to write this proposal. And I'm like, really? Come on, like, what do you think? He's like, oh, I've got to get into InDesign. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. I used to do that. I used to, we used to spend hours in InDesign writing beautiful proposals. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but I think the content and the substance of your proposal far outweighs the style. So, and again, because I get bored quickly and I don't like, you know, doing things twice, I found BidSketch and worked out a way to template proposals and get all the right bits that work. And so now in BidSketch, there are proposal templates and there are proposal sections. And a template can consist of different sections. So we lay up all of the possible sections that you could have in a, in a proposal. So it might be, you know, web design, web development, SEO, social, pay-per-click, consulting strategy, whatever. We lay up all of the actual sections and then we build templates out of the different sections. And so when someone inquires about a particular project, we take their inquiry form, find the template that matches, edit it and get it out. And we, I can get a proposal out in you know, less than 45 minutes. Um, it also allows your clients to comment on the proposal and have a, a threaded discussion on the proposal rather than on email. And they've got a whole bunch of templates built in, including ours, which is kind of nice. Um, the guys at BidSketch and us have partnered on a few things in the past. This is just one thing I'll, I'll say about the importance of doing partnerships and finding a good JV partner in your, in your marketplace to partner with. These guys produced an amazing ebook for consultants that a customer of mine sent to me and said, you could have written this. And I read it and it was, we were just singing from the same hymn book. So I reached out to Ruben at BidSketch and said, hey, I'd love to get you on my podcast and I think we should partner on this ebook because I can send a whole bunch of traffic your way and I think this is really valuable for our audience. So we partnered on it and I think there's an important distinction here. We partnered on this ebook, put up a co-branded landing page. I sent it out to our 22,000 uh, email subscribers. I drove about 600 opt-ins for his <coughs> software and the bonus was anyone who opted in, the first 500 people who opted in for the ebook out of my list got a free webinar where I would teach them how to implement the stuff in the ebook in their business. So that's a huge win for him, because he gets a whole bunch of free traffic. It's a huge win for my audience, because they get a whole bunch of value in a free webinar. And the win for me is I've now got 580 people who opted in for that ebook and webinar who are warm leads that otherwise I'd, I hadn't identified. They were just in my database, but they're now warm leads to put into a nurture campaign to get into our business training program. So those kind of win-win-win partnerships, I'm always looking for opportunities to do that. It's got nothing to do with tools, but I thought it was interesting anyway. Uh, so BidSketch, um, so they now also took our template that we developed for WordPress consultants and have included it in their template library. Uh, great looking client proposals in, in minutes. And it, it really is, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool. Um, so they generate, yeah, they generate a, um, a, a web page that your client can approve and they generate a PDF that you can actually send to the client as well. We just send them the web page. Is it mobile responsive? Uh, I think it is. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I assume it would be responsive. 